I'm Douglas Stanford and I'm a postdoc at the Institute for Advanced Study. I mainly study uh, uh, black holes and chaos. The first time I heard about black holes, somebody told me that a black hole was a thing where all of the matter from a star was concentrated at a single point in space. And that sounded obviously ridiculous to me. I was 12 and I was, I was keen to learn more about it. The Blavatnik Award I think is very meaningful, especially for people who are working in sort of abstract areas like in high energy theoretical physics. It's tremendously important to every once in a while get encouragement like this that people outside our field care about what we're doing. Many times the work that we do feels a little bit disconnected from the rest of the world, abstract, and it's very nice to have something that ties it back to the rest of society. Optimistically I'd like to understand the solution to the black hole information problem. This is the question of what happens to information that falls into a black hole. How does it get out of the black hole? This is a, a big problem in high energy theoretical physics, but I hope that in the somewhat near future we'll understand that. We're working on uh, quantum field theory, quantum gravity, quantum information theory. These are enormously rich and complicated mathematical structures that describe different aspects of our world, from, you know, from the Big Bang to like, high temperature superconductors, quantum computers, things that will have relevance, I believe technological relevance. Understanding quantum field theory, quantum gravity is an enormously complicated and difficult problem, but I think that a, a complete understanding of this will have, will have technological applications, just, just not right now. The whole community of theoretical physicists, I sort of think of it like we're all working on some kind of a big crossword puzzle and um, different people are working in different areas and um, success is when you, you learn something new, it's like you put a new clue, you put a new answer in the crossword puzzle. What we're working on in high energy theoretical physics right now might not actually be important to people in their everyday lives right now. In the future, I think it will be.